the Tobago Heritage Festival has been declared a success. The 2017 edition of the festival will soon be reviewed and Oko Warriors shine at Kendall Meets. Info Update Bringing you the latest news, views and, and reviews, reviews Along with responses, comments and events affecting you Brought to you by the Information Division of the Tobago House of Assembly Today we begin with culture as the 2017 Tobago Heritage Festival has been declared a success Kern de Freitas has the details Transformative, innovative, successful that's just a few of the ways Secretary of Tourism, Culture and Transportation Nadine Stewart Phillips is describing the Tobago Heritage Festival 2017. The Secretary also praised those who worked behind the scenes to make the event a reality. At this juncture, I would really like to express my sincere thanks to Mr. George Leacock, the chairman of the Tobago Heritage Festival Committee and all committee members. We had a number of subcommittees that worked tirelessly over the two-week period. Mrs. Stewart Phillips says there were a few hiccups along the way, but she's pleased at the manner in which these challenges were overcome. So we definitely saw we the, the Tobago Heritage Festival. It was under the team Len Hand and it was very evident because outside of committee members, we saw persons in the cultural fraternity, persons in Tobago saying, I want to be a part, I want to assist. The secretary also recognized some key contributors to the festival. They include education icon Dr. Eastlin McKenzie, cultural stalwart Annette Alfred, Onika Henry of the Tobago Theatre Company, and filmmaker Jared Primer. I'm Kern DeFreitas for Info Update. Staying with culture and officials are already looking at ways to further enhance the Tobago Heritage Festival. Here's this story. A two-day symposium is being planned to review the Tobago Heritage Festival 2017. Secretary of Tourism, Culture and Transportation Nadine Stewart Phillips says the symposium allows stakeholders and villagers to provide feedback to build on this year's success. Because a lot of persons have ideas, this is our culture. The culture of the Tobago Heritage Festival does not belong to the Tobago House of Assembly, it belongs to the people of Tobago. And we think that it is integral at this stage that we get feedback from persons as we look forward to celebrating our 30th anniversary. Mrs. Stuart Phillips says she's also looking at ensuring that all heritage events get the attention they deserve. So persons look forward to Mariah, persons look forward to Charlottesville, but we want that same enthusiasm for Bon Accord and for every other production so that when the Tobago Heritage Festival comes, uh, comes around, persons must look forward generally to the festival, not just to go in Charlottesville, not just to go in Mariah. The secretary says her division will continue working alongside communities to improve the quality of heritage productions in Tobago. She believes this will later attract more visitors to the island. I'm Karima McKenzie Thomas for Info Update. To sport and swimming as the Tobago YMCA Aqua Warriors had a good showing on the weekend at the annual Blink B Mobile Swim Classic on Sunday. The Aqua Warriors finished second to Tidal Wave Aquatic Swim Club. They claimed 81 medals in the tournament, 41 gold, 28 silver, and 19 bronze. They also picked up 13 trophies for overall performances. The team of 25 swimmers were coached by Mosi Dinun and assistant Rochelle Pei. This included 9 to 10 age group swimmers, brothers Jacob and Joseph Cox, and 13 to 14 swimmers, Unique Wilson, Brianna Percy, and Digimon Wilson. At the 15 to 17 level, the Aqua Warriors were represented by Ezekiel Wilson, Dante Williams, Jaden Marie, and Carlin Seeley. The event was hosted by the Tobago Youth Development Center at the Kendall Aquatic Facility. That's it from all of us at the Department of Information. I'm Josanne Brassi, and you've been listening to Info Updates.